What's up my printer peoples? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to properly store your filament so you can keep it dry and get quality prints throughout the entire life of the spool. All right, let's get into it. Gah! All right, to create this filament sanctuary of dryness, we're gonna need some supplies. First off, we're gonna need a bucket and we're gonna need a lid to seal off all the moisture from outside and we're gonna need some type of desiccant or dehumidifier. Now, this is the one I got and is really big if I was to do it again, I'd get this smaller one. It would be a lot better and you could fit more rolls inside the bucket. And if you want to get really fancy, you can get a weather station that tells you the humidity inside the bucket. All right, let's put everything together now. So first thing is you have to take the bucket lid and remove the actual lid from the ring and then take that ring and clip it onto the bucket. Now I had a hard time doing this with it on the bench. So what I ended up doing is taking it off the bench, setting it on the ground and putting my entire weight into it and that clipped it in pretty good. Once that ring is securely clipped into the bucket, you can go ahead and load up to five full-size filament spools in there. And that still leaves room for the dehumidifier and the sensor so that you can put the lid on top and seal everything in. It's important to put all of your filament on the bottom and your dehumidifier on the top of the bucket because humid air is less dense than dry air and will float to the top. And of course, to get an accurate reading, you're gonna to wanna to put your humidity sensor on top as well. Sealing off the bucket, all I have to do now is kick back, relax, watch the wireless monitor, and see how low I can get the humidity inside. To get a baseline, I left the humidity sensor out on my bench and it leveled out around 45%. While the humidity is dropping, I want to show you another something that I made to keep things tidy. If you have ever messed with 3D printing filament, you know that it is a pain in the tuchus whenever you're done printing with it and you're trying to store it and it starts to unravel off the spool. Well, with this nifty little clip, it clips onto the edge of the spool and then the filament itself clips into it so that everything is held nice and tight and it won't come undone. This is especially helpful when you're stacking filament spools inside of a bucket to keep everything from getting tangled. All right, let's take a closer look at that humidity level now. It is down to 28%, which is perfect. Whenever you're storing filament, you wanna make sure that it's in a humidity level below 30%. That's the magic number. Okay, let's take a step back and look at this. With the bucket, lid, dehumidifier, and weather station, you're gonna be spending about $65. Now that's not bad when you consider a decent spool of filament is gonna cost you around 60 bucks. If you don't buy a bucket or a weather station, the total drops down to $32. Now if you think about being able to protect $300 worth of filament, that's not that bad of a price. These rechargeable dehumidifiers have color-changing crystals that let you know whenever they've soaked up so much water they can't pull it anymore out of the air. Once the crystals are saturated with water, all you have to do is flip out the plug from the bottom and plug it into an outlet. This turns a heater on inside, which dries out the crystals so that you can reuse this over and over and over again. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something in this video. Links for all the good stuff that I put in this video are down below. Also, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. Make sure to subscribe and like the channel that helps me out a lot and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I post all sorts of good stuff on there that you don't actually get to see in the videos.